Good morning. It's Monday. What's up with everybody? But uh, yeah, I mean, found out the first thing I was worried about was going to check on my teammate, uh, someone that's part of my room, making sure he was okay. And his answer was he's going to be okay, which everybody knows he's going to bounce back when it's time. He'll be working. And um, like you said, it's more opportunity. Every day there's opportunity, but when stuff like this happens, the door opens up more and you just got to take advantage of it. And that's what um, the team expects you to do. And that's what I expect uh, out of myself, you know. What, what changes for you besides the opportunity to get more reps? Um, nothing in the mindset that I can't, you know, overdo it. But at the same time, you can pre prepare more. Um, and and I guess earlier, those reps are going to be available earlier in the season. You know, first game, everybody might be fresh, and those guys might be taking every snap almost. Now you take uh, H out. That's a lot of empty snaps that got to be passed to other guys. So you got to be prepared for that. And um, you know, just be ready. You know, you don't have time to learn uh, kind of like this being a rookie season, um, actually playing regular games. You don't have time to learn. You just got to be ready and be ready to go out there and play. Do you feel like the work you've done put you in a position to be successful here right out of the gate? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely do. I wish I could predict the future and tell you I go out there on Sunday and do this and that, and it'll everything played out perfect. But. As, uh, the way I prepare, I feel like I'm ready, and I feel like the uh, team and the coaches and my teammates think I prepare well enough to be ready. But um, you just got to take it day by day, and that starts with game plan planning for the Giants today. Uh, I mean, a lot. Um, one, you know, it's the regular season. This isn't the preseason. You get to go out there and do it for real. Now these. These stats and these wins and losses are by your name and by the team the whole season, and they're what's going to determine the uh, outcome of this season. And it starts week one, a uh, long season. So I'm excited. I uh, feel like I got taken away last year. So um, I'm just ready to get to it and you know play the games that really count. I uh, came over, got the playbook and everything yesterday. So it's been going well, though, first, you know first couple days. What do you know about this team and how different is it to, to jump in and kind of get a crap with Harold? You know, great culture. Uh, teammates have been great. They've all been uh, accepting and excited for me to be here. So it, it helps out the process of, of learning the scheme and, and learning all the plays and stuff. What do you think you maybe bring to this team? I guess the same thing you bring to Pittsburgh. And what is that? Yeah, just bring depth at the at the position and and uh, play a major special teams role. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's been an interesting first three years, but uh, it's been fun and, and you gotta love the game for sure. How similar is the ask here to? Uh, I think it's pretty similar. Um, and then as, as we we get to know each other really well, uh, hopefully that expands. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You, you can never try to replace somebody fully. Uh, you just got to do. I got to play my game. Man, everybody, you know, everybody ready to go. Um, you know, you know, everybody's ready to go out here and they'll just, you know, go to, go about the plays. You know, uh, Vrabel and the, and the other coaching staff will have a great game plan for us. We go out there, we play hard, and we play Italian football. No, just talk to him. Let him know. Let him know about the process. You no, know, um, you know it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a process. It's truly gonna be one of those. You know, each each person is different. Each person's body is different. So you know, the stuff that I went through, he may go through. He may not go through. But uh, at the same time, man, it's just one of those things you gotta you gotta take on with your, with your head up high. You can't go in with your head down and feeling sorry for yourself because at the end of the day, man, it'll, break, it'll make you a breaker. So you got to make sure you go out there and do it. already, but how, how difficult for, for the front four you guys have talked all offseason about being together, being healthy, and now one of the main guys. Yeah, down. man, it's, it's a bummer. You know, wanting to stay together, everybody wanting to be on the same page. You know, uh, then that happened. But, man, it's part of football. It's part of the game. Um, I don't doubt he will come out and, uh, and make sure he dominates it the next year he's back on the field. You feel like you'll be a marked man of opposing offenses, trying to keep you off the quarterback with Harold and Scott Garner and not there on the other side? Yeah, for sure. But that will be professional for. That's why we're professional athletes. We got to go out there and uh, everyone got to make make ways to make plays. You said that it either make or break for you, you know, going through that experience. Mm -hmm. How did it make you? Man, you know, it just teaches you about, you know, it teaches you about adversity throughout the whole process. You know, it teaches you about, man, it's going to be really and truly, man, 18 a says a whole life lesson, not just for football, but in life in general. You know, the family, yourself, your mental your, your, your mental state, 
as a, as a, as a human person. You know, um, sometimes you have days, man, you like you want to give up. Sometimes you have days, like, is it still going to be the same? But you know, you just got to fight through and get to the end of the tunnel. And once you're done, man, everything going to work out. Do you go through any PTSD or anything like that when you see one of your boys go through an injury that's so much like what you went through? Oh, for sure. You know, knowing, exactly, knowing exactly what happened to him and how it is, man, you know. No, we don't wish that upon nobody. You know, back in the days, that age, that that injury was career ending. You know, it still gives people that mindset when it happens that like maybe maybe it's not gonna be the same. But now the technology these days, the rehab these days, everything is way better. So you know, guys are bouncing back faster than they ever have. Uh, a lot, a lot. Yeah, it's it's fun and excited to get back and playing football again. I'm um, grateful every day to be able to play this game and practice. Um, fortunate to be on a good team and in a good locker room, guys. Uh, Welcome me back and excited for me to come back too from this injury. I'm not sure how much you've heard about it, but there's people outside who certainly doubt this wide receiver core that Nunez is How much confidence you have in this group of guys right here that you can do a lot of uh, good. I mean, we're not worried about any of that outside talk. We're just out here trying to play our game, win football games, do our job. Uh, when the ball comes our way, um, exceed expectations, um, and really just control what we can. And uh, keep this room dominant and, and this team on, on, on the right track. Does the injury to Harold put any more pressure on your side of the ball? No, but it, I would say it's very uh, unfortunate for uh, his injury. Um, just whenever guys get injured and miss the season, um, it's, it's a long battle. Being being torn my ACL last year, uh, really just uh, need guys uh, around him um, to just lift him up. Guys who who who've been here are going to have bigger roles. Um, play for Harold, play at a higher level, uh, but uh, I think it, it, it hurts his team, but I think we just got to pick up our, our standard and play at a higher level. Outside of playing fast for you, what are you looking to do? Uh, win. Yeah. Personally? Personally? Yeah, personally win. <laughs> yeah. Junior Perro, you two, two players in the season opener. Yeah. Do you have a relationship with the Dory? Yeah, I've been, uh, been cool with the Dory. I've been talking to the Dory since, since high school. Um, train with him every now and then in the off season. So we get back together in LA. Uh, a great player, very athletic. Um, it'll be a fun matchup playing against him. How much are you looking forward to that matchup? Uh, very fun. It's, it's something we, we trained at in the off season. Uh, going against each other, running routes, being able to do so in the game uh, with our history. It's going to be fun. And uh, it's going to be uh, just a fun matchup. Him being a, a quick player and uh, myself as well. Predictable. Um, but I picked here for a couple reasons. One, I loved the coaching staff here. Um, Chase and, and Craig were with me the whole time throughout the draft process in terms of communication and stuff. So I really valued that in the whole process. Uh, Brett, what did you learn from him? What did he, did, did you pick up a knuckleball maybe here over the last Yeah, year? no, I learned a lot, honestly. Yeah. Uh, most of the stuff that I learned from Brett was just how he handled himself. Um, you know, I have a lot of respect for Brett and what he did. and. You know, just seeing how he handled his practice routines and how he practiced, you know, holding and, and just some of those little details like that, um, how he carried himself. Um, those are kind of the stuff that I took mental notes of, picked up, and um, hope to, you know, have in my game. What did he tell you before when he, uh, maybe when he got the news himself yeah, and, and when you were going to be the guy? Yeah, he wished me luck, you know. He said congrats, and um, we talked the other day, too. I mean, it's, you know, I told him going forward, I hope this is a great relationship that we have. Um, I learned, like I said, I learned a lot from him, and, uh, and I have the utmost respect for Brett. And um, and so, yeah, I think it was a good communication. So, what is it like? Obviously, he's a very popular guy around here. And, yeah, uh, been here for a long time, competing with a guy like that, and then and then winning. What is what is that like? Yeah, it's a it's an interesting experience. I I gotta say, um, it wasn't something that um, I was like used to. Obviously, when I went to Colorado State, I didn't have much competition. Um, going in there and so competing this was the first time that I actually had to compete for a spot so it was definitely um, definitely different for me a different experience but I thought that like overall um, you know coming in competing with Brett it was it was great truthfully just to learn from him and also you know compete against him your longest punt in the game was like the 81 yard against Vandy last year is that right yes in practice what's the, what's the furthest you've ever punted one hang time in the air do you know um, honestly <sighs> I think like the first I've ever hit it, it was like 72 and um, I've hit a couple, you know, five eights when I was in my pre-draft training, but, um, but yeah, so those are just a couple of the ones that I've hit.